deep in the shadows I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other ah hi everyone nasi chronicles here welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i post fragrance related content on this platform and would very much appreciate it if you did decide to come on board by subscribing in case you're not yet subscribed now to those who are already subscribed thank you so much for being part of the family and supporting this channel now i do have a second channel guys see chronicles unscripted where i focus on vlogs as well as western uh, fragrance reviews in case you want to check that one out now welcome to today's video i did say the best for last when it came to my uh the tougher niche emirati collection uh, that i have acquired for now i just have five guys and i know there's more than 10 in that collection so i did save Lujane for last this is actually one of my favorites now Lujane comes in a boss bottle like this and by now if you have been following some of the reviews that i did of the latafa uh, Nisha Marathi, you will know that they come as you know a box in a box so you're gonna get a white box you know covering that and then if you remove this white box then you get to the fragrance now how you get to the Jane is like this it sits majestically in the box like that so i'm gonna spray it on a piece of paper and then i'm gonna give you my thoughts now by saying i saved the best for last it doesn't mean that i am stopping here when it comes to my uh, purchases of the niche emirati i would like to explore more of them but for now these are the only ones that i have the ones i've reviewed as well as this one now this is the atomizer guys for blue jane from this uh, fragrance do expect a burst of a white and yellow floral that is what's going to greet you right there offset like a prominent heady heightened uh, white and yellow floral this is one that i had to keep uh, for a little bit because i thought it was going to change and it is just persistent from the day i got it up to now it was one of those that i don't think needed maceration even when i purchased it because what it's giving me now is exactly what it's you know it gave me on the first day a heady white floral that's a bit pushy there. now the notes listed for this fragrance guys by latafa are going to be pink pe peppercorns at the top there as well as some rose and then the mid of this fragrance is going to have jasmine sambac and some tuberose and then the base is going to be sandalwood tonka and vanilla a heady floral to my nose feels a lot like tuberose like a very heightened tuberose there that is a bit pushy it's wrapped up around a sweet type of uh umbrella there it's going to give anybody who s sniffs this for the first time you know that mental shortcut that it probably aligns with the feminine fragrances uh, but let me you know just to set the record straight this to my nose is very unisex because there's a spicy kick uh, that is in this fragrance. To me, that spicy kick is beyond just pink peppercorns. It feels even instancy there. Uh, a very sophisticated spicy kick to this fragrance. And it is that weight or that spiciness there that uh, makes this one feel very exotic. It's a DNA, guys, that doesn't feel mainstream. It may come across as complex uh, to some of the new noses there or somebody who is accustomed, especially to the way these designer fragrances or mainstream fragrances are made they may find this one doing a little too much uh, that white uh, floral seems to be working with a yellow floral possibly maybe that tuberose and uh, even ylang but latafa did not mention that this fragrance has got ylang ylang okay uh, but i do get a creamy wrap up of these uh rounding up this florals and it could also be that that creamy wrap up is coming uh, from the sun there wood. is like a slight tone of a woodiness happening in this fragrance and some people are going to get a slight tone of like a herbal thing like an aromatic thing but this does not give me a distinct like a middle eastern tone type of fragrance and then there is going to be an underlying fruity accent in this fragrance this has a lot of pages just when you think oh i've nailed it okay it just twists and turns and becomes something very different and as much as it does present a lot of changes or pages it doesn't leave or drop uh, that creamy uh, floral that uh, heady floral that it carries all it does is it it, it opens kind of like a you know spi a spicy page there it opens an aromatic page there it opens uh um even an an, an incense just slightly slightly incense not smoky incense but slightly incense tone uh, wearing it at some point i had to take out my maison crevelli uh ombre chromatic because i was thinking oh, is this taking that direction uh because there is that mysterious 
uh, spicy kick that you get in this fragrance this was just me experimenting with it but in terms of not straying too much i'm gonna say that creamy bold tuberose kind of wrap up there feels as though this fragrance is uh, something that somebody who loves mimo mafa is going to like it feels like something that somebody who loves rouge malachite is gonna like without it being a mimo mafa outright clone or a, a, a rouge malakai outright clone so what i think is happening with this fragrance is one it could very well be let's have a standalone or two it could be a fragrance that uh, maybe is drawing its inspiration from a fusion of mimo mafa and clive christian's jump up and kiss me ecstatic of 2021 uh, because i do get a fragrance that I cannot outright say it's a Mimo Mafa, a smell I like and walk away. There's something in this that's happening that's way more than that uh, just Mimo Mafa, you know, DNA. There is a little twist in here. So if at all this is not a Latafa standalone, then I'm going to say probably borrows from that uh, Mimo Mafa. Or if you love Mimo Mafa and, uh, and if you love, you know, that Clive Christian jump up and kiss me ecstatic 2021. Remember, they do have a lot of jump up and kiss me ranges there the 2021 one then you're probably going to love this fragrance but having said that it is an enjoyable fragrance nonetheless it is one of those that a little goes a long way it is a commitment it's one fragrance that lasts till the next couple of washes not even just one wash i can see this being a scrubber for some people because that floral is doing a little too much and can be you know borderline pushy there so you've got to love uh, that's really really loud you know, heightened tuberose note there, mixing with uh, something that feels like a yilang and then that uh, sandalwood, uh, giving this like a creamy, even to an extent a bit, you know, heady for some kind of concoction. Yeah. From the five that I have purchased uh, so far, this uh, is a DNA, I would say was a bang for my buck uh, because this is very wearable to me. This is something that I do like. Uh, the one that was a complete miss was the Vintage Castle. That one is doing a little too much. And the other one uh, turned out to be a BR540 clone. So that didn't do much for me. The other one turned out to be a very green, salty type of fragrance. I'm actually going to bring them here for you and then just rate them. But for now, I can say this is one that I love the Lasting most. Lasting power, I did say up to the next wash. Agenda, uh, this is going to be unisex. Don't worry about the fact that it opens with that sweet burst of the florals. This has got a spicy turn in the dry down there where it very much aligns with a something that men can totally wear. In fact, it might be at that point that women will say, mm, I think it's doing a little too much. And then uh, in terms of seeing, uh, Season. Uh, this to me is one fragrance that can choke you out in the heat so don't let the blue bottle there uh, give you a mental shortcut that this is going to be aquatic there's nothing aquatic about this fragrance it feels very much like a heady fragrance that you want to wear in a cooler night uh, maybe in spring very cold weather that type of thing but if your nose is hardened, you can wear this, of course, all year round. And it's going to tick the boxes for those people that like beast mode fragrances because you're going to get a beast, guys, in this. Another thing that made me suspect that it could be uh, in the same vein as the Clive Christian Jump Up and Kiss Me Ecstatic 2021 uh, composition is the color of the bottle. The fact that the bottle is blue uh, because, you know, under normal circumstances, uh, mental shortcut especially for myself being a reviewer i want to speak for myself if a bottle is blue i'm expecting something oceanic something uh aquatic you know something fresh something but this is not fresh at all this is to my nose something that's quite thick quite rich quite heavy quite lush i think it does even have um i was about to say it has gardenia no uh they did not list gardenia but there is like a very lush uh, very lush oh jasmine yeah very lush weight there you know very uh, con concentrated uh, composition if you will see chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today and uh, let's meet in the comment section where we'll obviously discuss more about fragrances this has been lu jane guys from uh, uh, the latafa Nish Amarati uh, collection. Let me know which ones you have uh, collected thus far uh, and what you think of them, right? I will try and get my hands on uh, the other ones and bring them here, obviously. Do turn on post notifications, guys, on both my channels. That way you get to be notified anytime I upload a video. Meanwhile, like and share this one. And remember, the smelling good, guys, is a form of good manners. Cheers. <laughs>